Dear Brett Miller, our last call, Crumpy, Greg Grismore, Komodo, Dan Ross. Now that's our Jim Valiano. Coast to Coast Yankee, Mike Wilder, Junior Men and Dale Heitman. They're at the post, and here they come. Tyrolf and pacing Komodo is first away as they leave. There goes All-American Captor up on the inside. Losing stride off the gate, Junior Mint. Junior Mint is on a break and trails around the turn. Into the back lane they go, and it's All-American Captor out there with that lead. Komodo is setting second. It's a gap of four back to last call Crumbie third. Now that's artist setting fourth, coast to coast Yankee fifth. Settle down, but distantly trailing Junior Mint. They're at the quarter in 27. They're on the far turn the first time. All-American Captor and Brett Miller out there. They cut the pace by two. Komodo and Danny Ross setting second, two and a half lengths in the line. Lane they come as last call, Crumbie third. They turn on down to the half. Now that's hard is fourth. Racing along fifth is coast to coast Yankee. They're here at the halfway station. It's all American Captor over here in 55 and a fifth. They go in at club turning their payoff half mile. Komodo is right there stalking the pace setter. Last call, Crumbie third. Around the turn now, that's third is fourth, followed by Coast to Coast Yankee. They swing into the back lane now and they'll head down to the three quarter mile mark of the race. And it's all American Captor out there with that lead a length and a quarter. Komodo is second on the outside. Last call, Crumbie third. And on the rail, coast to coast, yanking on the outside. Now that's Art three quarters, 123 and two. On the turn, they're coming home in the second division of the Miller Lite Cleveland Classic. And on top, All-American Captor out there, two and a half with all the valves open. It's Komodo second there in Heartbreak Lane, racing third. Coast to coast, Yankee down the lane to the wire they come. It's All-American Captor and Brett Miller. It's Miller time in 150 and two. A new track record for a three-year-old colt. More than that, it's an all-time, all-time track record here at Northfield Park. 150 and two, the fastest mile ever raced over the flying turn. And more than an all-time track record here at Northfield Park. That is the fastest mile ever raced over a commercial night harness facility. The only faster miles ever paced on a half mile were at a county fair. Delaware, to be exact. But anyway, that 150 and two is the fastest commercial half mile mark in the history of harness racing. Parading back to the winner's circle, you have the unofficial winner of tonight's 12th race. Second division of the Miller Lite Cleveland Classic in a record-breaking 150-2 performance, number one All-American captor. That is a new lifetime best for the winner, along with the other marks that we've just mentioned. He's the son of Jake Lobel. Out of Candu River by Cam Fellow, by David Ray Hall and Alvin Jacobson of New York, trained by Virgil Morgan Jr., a local trainer, I may add. Driven tonight by Mr. Brett Miller, also one of our top 10 drivers here at Northfield Park. 150 and two, an all-time record here at Northfield Park, the fastest commercial half mile mark ever set in the sport. Trackside making the trophy presentation. Representing Tremonti Distributing, the local distributor for Miller Lite and all the fine Miller products, Mr. Jack Tremonti Jr. accompanied by his wife, Marcy. At this time, standing by in the winner's circle with trainer Virgil Morgan Jr. and the fastest driver in the history of Northfield Park, Brett Miller, here's Dave Bianconi. Thank you, Greg Young. A stunning performance by All-American Captor, winning the second division of the Miller Lite Cleveland Classic. 
world record equaling 150 and two all age track record and driver Brett Miller he really did it all on his own you made the front were never challenged can you believe that this horse just went this fast uh, actually I can uh, like I said before this horse has had a lot of bad luck um, he's a very fast horse and he got to prove it tonight trainer Virgil Morgan jr. Uh, joining me this one has ha raced in some bad luck this year I don't see many 150 miles on his lines wins at least I mean this is an absolute eye-popping effort we actually purchased him he's a small horse 